已经开始了这个 inflation， OK， 这个 inflation 开始的时候是因为为什么呢？哦，因为很多人哦，因为他手头上很多钱，就是说美国那边印很多钱，所以他就拼命的买东西。那时候买了一阵子哈，连、哦、东西就越来越贵，东西就越来越贵，然后。买太多，那个工厂又出不了货 ，OK， 就缺货，连导致这个哦东西的价格暴涨 ，OK， 所以 inflation 就造成 inflation，All right， so again， 呃、uh, ，let me remind you， All right， why I always use the US data， OK， I have to explain to new member， because US stock market always influence the world stock market， OK， including Hong Kong， including， 呃、uh,。Singapore market, so it does make sense for me to use the U.S. data to explain to you what is the situation right now. And of course, I will still be, uh, talking about Singapore market individually. Okay, in the later time. All right. So, uh, 每次跟大家分享，我会用美国数据啊、uh, 来做参考。为什么呢？虽然我们是住在新加坡，为什么要拿美国的数据来做参考？是因为哈、哦，美国的市场啊、哦、是全球最大的市场哦，它会它的波动就是会影响全世界呃的股票市场，所以我还是要用这个美国数据来做参考了哈、哦。Okay. So, um. So is inflation good or bad? Okay, is inflation good or bad? All right. So you have to understand this. Um, what we call that inflation number one, and then followed by this. Uh, is inflation good or not? Good or bad? So if you don't understand, then it's very difficult for you to make money. All right, because inflation will help you to make money. The riches become riches because they own asset. Okay, and the poorer become poorer is because they don't own asset and they only. Income earner and keep cash, right? So that is the problem that most of the people have in the world. Most of the people, uh, have this problem in the world. So that means inflations for you is very simple. Okay, five years ago when you buy a burger, okay, with three layer, it cost you five dollar. But however, okay, five years later, okay, five dollar burger become only one layer. Right, so this is called inflation, sir. And in term of the dollar, right, the dollar has been dropping. Okay, around ninety percent. Okay, of the value, already dropping ninety percent of the value. That is a lot, actually. That is a lot. Okay, that is a lot. And uh, compared with Sing dollar, Sing dollar still very strong. Okay, so. Now, what is good for inflation? Okay, if you are a business owner, okay, if you are a business owner, okay, congratulations to you. All right, that means um, uh, you know your company, especially if you are involved in a technology company, you are making a very good money. Okay, you are very good making a very good money, and then followed by, uh, property. Okay, I believe some of you have uh invest in the property. Okay. So this property has increased in the value recently. That is a lot value, okay, a lot of value because rental has been increased significantly in Singapore, okay, and then the price of the property also increased significantly. All right. So these are the inflation good or bad things. So make sure you have some portfolio in asset, okay, beside a、uh, business because most of you maybe you are. You know you are not involved in the business, so you have to buy some asset through the stock market. Okay, so what are the asset that actually beat uh inflation? What are the asset that actually beat inflation? Okay, number one is real estate, which is property. All right, number two is gold, and then last one is the stock. Okay, so I will talk about these three asset, and then I will do the comparison with the inflation as well. Reason is because that this is the asset that most of the richest people they are holding. Okay, most of the richest people they are holding. Those who are very successful, they also buy this asset. So, are you buying this asset, or you are already buying these assets? Okay. So, you 已经买了这个产业吗 Okay. 如果是 inflation 涨的话，哈 ，inflation 涨的话，其实这个三个产业哈是可以帮助你赚钱的。哦，第一个就是这个房地产，第二个就是黄金，第三个就是股票。所以这个三个产业，你有哪一些？ 
哦，你有哪一些？所以你要问你自己啦。哦，如果没有的话，你尽量哦，你尽量哦，有这些产业，不然的话哦，每十年这个 inflation 再涨多一次的话，哦，你就哦会很辛苦，你就会很辛苦。All right. So Max, OK, real estate comparison with the inflations, OK, no doubt, OK. Property, okay, will always increase in the value as compared to the inflations. Okay, so that is the fact. Okay, that is the fact. But you have to understand is that the property is become okay expensive. Oh, so property 的话，如果你看新加坡的话，它是越来越贵，所以不是每个人都可以买 property. All right. 不是每个人都可以买 property， 其实每个人都知道，我们都知道，你都知道，每个人都知道，买 property 是对的哈、哦。因为如果你后长期的话，它是会赚钱的，尤其是新加坡啦哈、哦，尤其是新加坡。可是 property 在新加坡太贵哦，不是每个人都有能力去买的。好、哦，我希望说你也是可以了解。所以 ，OK， 除了 property 的话，其实还有一个东西。你可以考虑的就是这个啊、uh, ，REITs， alright， REITs， OK， REITs， OK， why？ 呃、uh, ，because Singapore REITs， Singapore REITs is the best REITs in Singapore， so Singapore have more than 呃、uh, thirty five REITs， alright， but of course not every REITs is a good REITs， OK， so some of the REITs they give you five percent return or seven percent return， which is very good。Okay, five percent to seven percent, um, you know, per annual basis return, which is very good because REITs allow you, um, to buy as little as you can. Okay, so that you can participate in the, you know, what we call that REITs. Okay, uh, participate in the property through the REITs, right? And if you look at the comparison between S and P five hundred and real estate, so if you put it to compare, S and P five hundred and this Wuxia, of course, no one can say that S and P five hundred is this stock, right? S and P five hundred is five hundred strong American stocks, ah, five hundred strong companies. Okay, so if you compare with five hundred strong companies, and this Wuxia, of course, it's not comparable. So, 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 我希望说，你们全部人都知道，如果买股票，你买对公司的话，其实你是可以赚钱的哦，比买这个呃房地产还要好。可是我还要告诉你们说，有钱人他们两个都有哦，成功人士他们两个资产都有，他们有房地产，还有股票，他们一定有两个的哦。So a lot of、uh, successful people they actually own two asset. Okay, namely properties and stocks. So, 跑不掉 all right, 跑不掉 no doubt. So, if you do the comparison, okay, um, S and P five hundred, okay, always beats uh real estate, all right. So that is the fact. So that's the fact, all right. So you buy 房地产是没有错 okay. 可是在新加坡呃比较贵一点 all right. 所以你买 REITs 的话，我觉得还 OK 哦，还 OK. Right. So next thing, okay, gold. Okay, many people like gold as well. Okay, because why? Gold, you know, the price, um, is not that volatile as compared to a、uh, stock market. Okay, um, but you have to understand is that <clears throat> gold, right? Okay, um, is quite volatile. Okay, and then followed by no dividend payout. Okay, and then gold is considered non-productive asset. So what is mean by non-productive asset? That means, ah,、uh, if you compare with a company, company, um, they have a, a what we call that a productive asset. So that means when they are selling product, the revenue come into the company so that we can measure the revenue, um, of the company. We can measure the performance of the sales of the company. But gold price, we cannot measure. Okay, gold price is purely decided by speculative value. Okay, based on the supply and the demand. Okay, based on the supply and the demand. All right. So they are pro and con. Okay, they are pro and con. But based on the fact is that okay, um, gold. Okay, there is always a demand. But however, the return. Of course, cannot be compared with the S and P five hundred lah. Oh, agree lah. So if it's 股票跟黄金的话，其实股票还是呃相当的不错 ，OK as compared to gold，All right， 其实股票一直以来是最好的啦 
，好、哦，你可以看到的话，如果长期你买对股票的话，哦，你是可以赚钱的，比黄金还要好。但是黄金其实也是不错 ，OK， 有些人他喜欢买黄金，可是如果你买黄金的话，哈、哦，呃。看个人呐、啊，哈、哦，有些我的朋友他是买真的黄金，哈、哦，放在家里，所以我就问他，哎，你放在家里你会舒服吗 ？OK， so， 呃、uh, ， it depend on the， 呃、uh, ， individual， 呃、uh, ， what we call that objective， right？ So when you buy gold， are you going to keep for your children or grandchildren？ OK， so these are the， 呃、uh, ， thinking that some other people have 啦 ，all right？ But for me， OK， um。You know, we want to enjoy our life because our life is very short, all right. So, um, if you can make money from the stock market, why not you spend some money to go travel, all right? So, depend on individuals, okay? There's no right or no wrong, okay? So, it's up to individuals' uh objective and the financial uh what we call that, uh financials uh strength, all right? And okay, so S and P five hundred always beat. Inflations, all right. So this is not necessary. All right, S and P five hundred always beat inflations. All right. So that's why stock market is very popular. Reason is because that it will help you to hedge again the inflation. It help you to hedge again the inflation. So actually, I'm talking about these things. Actually, you all have heard of it. You all have heard of it. You all have heard of it. But why do you still make money? 这个我就不是很明白哦，哦，所以有可能是你们的技巧或者是技能出问题是吗 ？OK， 还是你们太贪心啊，或者是你们买错股 ？OK， 所以如果你买错股的话，意思是说你选择就有问题 ，right？ 你选择就有问题，选择是关于你的知识，还有你的这个呃技巧或者是技能。如果你没有把你的技巧和技能提高的话，哈，你会每次做同样的哦选择的话 ，then 你就会做同样的呃，就是说呃错误 ，all right。So I want to say that okay, the fact is that most of you already know, okay, um, you know, stock market, especially the S and P five hundred company, they always beat the inflation. Everyone of you know, but how come I still see, you know, majority of the people still losing money in the stock market? Okay, do you think about it? Do you think about it? Is it something wrong? Okay, with the way that you are investing, is it something wrong? Uh, with the way that you choosing the company, all right. So you have to think about it. Okay, after this uh session, you have to think about it. Why you keep losing money? Okay, because I already show you the fact. Okay, stock market always beat the inflations. So if you still continue to Buy the wrong stock. That means you have a big problem choosing the right stock. So if you find out that you have a problem choosing the right stock, that means ah,、uh, your knowledge is not enough. Okay, your knowledge is not enough. So to improve your knowledge to find the right stock, you have to increase your knowledge. All right, you have to think about it. Okay, so many people have a saying or a saying, which means that ah. 其实努呃选择比努力还要重要，你明白吗？所以你可以坐在电脑前面哦，每天看股票，很努力的看股票 ，OK。可是你一旦选错股票的话，就是完蛋 ，All right。So what I mean is that， 嗯、um, 嗯、uh, ，what we call that choosing the right stock is more important than your hard work。You may choose to sit in front of the computer from nine to five p.m. But what if you choose the wrong stock? Okay, then you'll be losing money. So the choices is very important. You think about it. The choices is very important. 选择是很重要。所以如果你选择有 problem 的话，就是你的知识不够。Okay. So if your choices, okay, the way that you select stock, all right. Okay. Um. If if you do not improve, then you know. You always choose the. You will always choose the wrong stocks. Ah, all right. So that is my, uh, what we call that observation from my past experience, and then um, I also learn from the successful people. Actually, the choices is very important. All right, okay, okay, ma. So, the sector performance that during the high inflations, which is last year, okay, um, food sector, okay, 
bank sector, healthcare sector, and the commodity sector, right? Energy was the best performing sector last year. And then uh, metal was the best performing sector last year as well. And then gold recently uh, went up, recently, all right? Healthcare was the best performing sector. Bank was also best performing sector, but this year a bit stagnant. And food uh, sector, okay? Uh, still strong, food sector still strong, like for example, Food Empire, uh, Delphi. So these are the strong uh, stock like Food Empire. Right? And then bank, we have UOB, uh, DBS, right? And commodity, okay, energy, metal, and gold. So these are the sector performance. And you have to understand that stock market is actually forward looking, all right? Stock market is actually forward looking, okay? So before the inflations move up aggressively, this sector of the stock already moving up. So, what so what I mean is that okay, you need to have some knowledge, right, to understand okay what is inflation and then what are the sector that will be moving. So a lot of the successful people, all right, they know that the inflation is going up. So what they are doing is that they will buy this sector stock first before the inflation moving up significantly. 你明白吗？他们不是等到这个inflation高的时候才去买这个东西，已经太迟了。OK，已经太迟了。Right? Okay? So we can see that the inflation. I still remember nine point one percent. Okay, the US inflation nine point one percent, which is uh, if I'm not wrong, June. Okay, then after that they begin to slow down. All right, as of now is six point four percent. Right, as of now, it's 6.4%. Okay, so you can see that when the inflation going down, the energy stock is going down as well. All right, can you see that? Okay, so if you can know this rotation as early as possible, then you should buy the energy stock last year, in the earlier of the last year. Okay, in the earlier of the last year. So if you buy now, then it will be too late. Even though if you try to buy down in the earlier year, it will be too late as well. All right. So the stock is actually very the Okay, 当你想到的时候，你去买的时候，它就开始跌了。Alright，所以你的想法哦，要一致哦，有时候要快一些。Alright, but human being is like that oh, Human being um sometimes we need some time, alright, to warm up. Okay, um 普通人的话就是说，他要时间哦去熟悉这个东西。当你熟悉了过后，就是太迟了，股票已经开始跑了。So that is life lah. Okay, that is life. Okay, the only way you can do is to improve your knowledge. Alright, so that's why you are here today to learn. Okay, so what happened now? Okay, what happened now? Alright, so it. 讲到现在的话 ，Okay， 讲到现在的话 ，Alright， so we can see that. Okay, inflation. Okay, begin to go down. All right, that was last year, uh, June. Early, uh, uh, all right. So 6.4 so, uh, March, early, uh, sun, all right. So now what is happening? Okay, now what is happening? All right, now what is happening? Okay, now is the tax stop uh, moving up. Okay, and the inflation are uh, going down. Okay, inflation going down, tax stop are uh, moving up. Right, so you can see that why tech stock are moving up. 
is because inflation has been gone down. Okay? Inflation has been gone down. Right? So that is the fact. Lah. So now, so what should we focus? Okay, now what should we focus? Because when I show you this thing, this thing almost already passed. Okay, this was almost last year thing. All right, so if you can make good money last year because of the high inflation, congratulations to you. All right, because I did talk about inflation, uh, you know, if I'm not wrong, last year, okay, before the inflation went up a lot before. Okay, so now what we are focusing, okay, basically we need to identify, identify the strong sector sector okay so what are the strong sector i think most of you already know because i keep talking about this strong sector so that's why that is how okay you you know what we call that that is how you uh, you know learn where the knowledge that you you know where, where the things that you can learn all right so if you look at the sector performance uh, before I talk about sector performance, I also want to talk about this uh, technology, deflationary, okay? And so basically, if you look at long-term, right, okay? In fact, technology will help us, right, to reduce the inflations, okay? Why? Because technology is become like our, uh, what we call that, we, we need technology almost every day, all right? So, 科技的话如果我们讲到科技的话其实这个科技的这个东西哦就是说我们每天都在用你可以看到你的手机我们每天都在用手机 then要请很多人。如果是用科技的话,我们就不用请这样多人。你明白吗?所以如果我们没有请这样多人的话,所以那些人被裁员的话,有可能他没有钱去买更多的东西,导致这个家钱不会上场,所以这个inflation就会被控
to help the country to reduce the inflations. And therefore, if you think about it in long term, all right, technology stock is the future. Okay, technology stock is the future. All right. So although right now, okay, based on current date, okay, year to date, communication services like Meta, okay, Google already went up. Okay, Meta already went up. Okay, more than 100%. So that's why you can see as of now, year to date, they already went up 21%. Information technology, Kajiku, Baokuo, Tesla, right, also went up. Okay, 100%. Okay, followed by consumer discretionary. So this is the third sector that it has went up. So congratulations to you. Okay, why? Because today you learned something that I have not, uh, you know, talking uh, most of my time. All right. And then I also keep sharing with you about the sector uh, performance. Okay, before that, I still remember the sector performance um, was not uh, what we call that uh, before the technology stock is being moved out moved up okay I already share with you what sector to to look at okay so that's why I say in my previous web webinar many many months ago all right please okay watch out for the tech stock okay it was low okay it was cheap all right so if you don't buy that time okay then you know if you buy now a bit expensive already all right so these are the things that i want to share with you okay my job is to help you all right what stock to look at what sector to look at and how i know okay why it can move all right so these all are the knowledge that i have learned from a successful people as well right that you will never learn from your school okay that you will never learn from your school so that's why that's why I say the workshop that I show you, you must attend to increase your knowledge, right? If you want to be serious in the investment, okay? Okay, ma. So, uh, since I is consider, I would say consider most of the stock are overbought, okay? Most of the stock are overbought, all right? So, if you can uh, listen to my, uh, what we call that, 958 interview, um, I did mention that um, most of the stock already overbought, all right? So what does that mean? Overbought means that uh, a, a, a small correction uh, or a pullback may occur anytime soon, okay? May occur anytime soon. So you, if you are trading for short term or mid term, you have to be careful. Lah. But for long term wise, I believe that um, 2023 will be a bull market, okay? But you have to understand that market will go up and down, go up and down, okay? And we do not know that how deep are they going to go because anything can happen in the stock market, all right? But the intention is to make money, okay? And make sure your profitable trade, okay? Uh, never allow your profitable trade become a losing trade, all right? So, you uh, Alright, you have to, you know, keep your profitable trade and then make sure you know when to take profit as well because we do not know what is going to happen next. Alright. So although right now I think most of the people are happy because uh you know uh, most of them managed to buy some uh, good stock. Okay, when I talk about it, uh, you know, major market bottoming near October, um, actually quite a number of people buy. Lah. So I, I know it's because some of them text me personally, hey, they buy when I talk about it uh, during the October uh, webinar last year, okay, when the stock market um, actually bottomed. Okay, so I did talk about it. All right. And these are the sector performance. Okay, market is overbought. All right. And that's why suggestion, okay? Never look at the news, okay? Don't look at the news, oh. Because news, the uh, usually affect your emotion and also your opinion. So my suggestion to you is that always look at the chart, okay, to decide what you can buy and what you should not buy, right? Because chart is show us the real data, okay? Chart actually show us the real data. News is not a real data. 
All right, news is being paid by a people to write a bad news so that everyone will subscribe to their news. But the chart is show us the real data. So why you need to focus on the news? Okay? So we should focus on the real data instead to tell us what is happening in the stock market. All right. Okay, so before I go in further, I would like to uh, share with you every time uh, because I don't do advertisements. Okay? I hope, you, hope that you can recommend your friend, your family member, um, anyone whom you know may benefit from this uh, workshop because this workshop um, current, currently still have 70% uh, subsidy, up to 70% subsidy from our governments. All right? So if this is a good workshop, why not okay you share with your friend okay because some other workshop outside um some of them you know they charge you four thousand dollar and then they are teaching the same thing because technical analysis is the concept all right so they are teaching technical analysis they charge you four thousand dollar but caleb gun technical analysis prior actions with what we call that um what we call that plus version combined with the financial market, how to choose the right stock, which sector to look at, and then what sector will be rotated. All this will be teach in this workshop so that I can show you how I combine the financial market together with the prior action so that we can okay, find the quality trade or quality company to invest in. So it's actually different from other technical management workshop because some other technical analysis workshop, they only focus about technical analysis. But for me, I know that um, you know, I know that you know what am I talking about. The way that I do things is actually quite different from other people. Okay. Then at the end of the day, I just want to find a good company, good sector to buy. That's all. Okay. So I hope you can share this with your friend, family member, and your um whoever that you think may benefit from this workshop. Huh? All right, so we take a look at the index. Okay, So we can see the index. So if you look at the, uh, before I talk about index, right? Okay, so this is the US dollar versus a uh, gold price. So I did talk about US dollar and the gold price uh, previously. Um, before uh, what we call that, uh, before the US dollar being crashed down. I think some of you may still remember, um, I did ask most of you that during November period, if you were still holding US dollar during that time in no November, I did mention that, uh, you know, try to convert some of the US dollar to SIN dollar, okay? Because it already tell us that, the chart already tell us that, the US dollar begin to be uh, weakening, all right? So you can see that um, uh, this was higher high, followed by higher low and higher low, okay? So after that, the US dollar being crashed down. So it is good that you, you know, come back every week so that I can show you what is the latest data, okay? Um, of course, if you can try to bring your friend along, okay, to learn along, so that you can benefit from what I've been sharing with you. So at that time, you remember the 11th of April, the 11th of April, I was saying, I was saying, I would encourage you, if you don't have too much money, I would hope that you can buy this gold coin, this gold coin, because at that time, I saw the gold coin, the gold coin has already started to fall, has already started to fall. So at the moment, you can see that today, gold coin has already started to fall, has already started to fall. 哦，还有这个黄金哦，继续的上涨，因为为什么呢？黄金这个跟这个呃美元它是相反的 ，right？ 它是相反的。So you can see that gold price begin to move up. Okay, gold price is the last leg, last leg to move up lah. Okay, because when the inflation was increased, right, it didn't move up. So now they begin to move up. Alright, so they consider the last last leg to move up. Okay, so this is a uh, US dollar and the gold dollar, gold, uh, gold price. Okay, I hope you learn something. Okay, um, and then next we talk about the straight time index, 孩子, 
Okay, so height is considered overboard actually. All right, it's considered overboard, uh, which I did mention, uh, you know, in my radio interview. So we can see that um, in mid of March, right, the price was actually bottom. Okay, 差不多是三千左右, was the support level. Then after that, you know, um, the price was hovering near the 3,100 and then they break through to 3,300. So 3,300 obviously is a resistor. Oh, so 3,300 resistor. Okay? So you can see that now, 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 哦,有可能隨時會回調,因為這個套利的狀況有可能隨時都會出現啦,所以如果你們玩短期或者是中期的話,你們要注意一下,哦,當然如果你是買長期的話,以前買到很便宜的話,其實你就不需要去管這些
they keep moving up slowly and break through 200 day moving average it means that okay the bull market is coming okay in 2023 all right the bull market is coming in 2023 okay so you must find a way to participate lah, oh? you must find a way to participate all right so now we take a look at the index um is it considered overbought i think so because they rebound from here so around 7.8 percent so we can see that yesterday um the market was not really uh, performing okay so we'll see how tonight all right so if they continue to go up then the net resistance will be around 4,200. Okay? 4,200. So if you want to see if it then uh, the net resistance will be around 4,200. This is the S&P 500. Right? S&P 500. If it doesn't, it will be a lot of things. It will be a little bit, and it will Right? So we will see how. Okay? We will see how. So Nasdaq composite, 科技板块, okay, 科技板块, right? So we see how 科技板块, so 科技板块的话, uh, very positive, okay? But however, recently there's a double top here, okay, double top here, right? So what does that mean, double top? Double top means that when the double top is being formed, it's already formed up. It means that, um, you know, seller may come in, okay, to push down the price further. Or the buyer uh wish to take profit, okay, which I think they already took profit yesterday, but um we do not know whether they will go down uh further. So it's a bit hard to tell. Okay, maybe pull back a little bit and then go up. Oh, right. So anything can happen, or they may straight away go up. Or they may straight away go up. Okay, so we do not know. Right, but look like the uh, what we call that. Okay, so maybe just my uh, just my forecast, uh, okay, nothing wrong, right? So just my forecast, I just draw, so maybe before they go up, right? Maybe, uh, or they may. Go up straight away. So we see how. Go back and then rebound or straight away go up. So we see how, right? Because I, so I think I believe most of you already uh, buy in, already bought at the very low price. So we we'll just see how, okay? Let it, uh, let the market decide. Uh, huh? Let the market decide. Okay. And then uh, Hang Seng Index. Hang Seng Inbet has been slowed down a lot, okay, seen the pullback, okay, seen the pullback, right, so you can see that the pullback is occurring, not sure will they go down before they go up, right, so the Hang Seng Inbet is a bit unpredictable, okay, unpredictable, right, so this is because of the uh, Chinese market, right, Chinese market, so it's a bit unpredictable, but if you ask me long term wise, still got a lot of potential. Okay. So Hang Seng Zisu the Wa uh Suiran so you have to ask yourself, okay? Um, there are a lot of uh, a very good company, good fundamental company from China that listed in Hong Kong, all right? So if you look at the index, right, Hang Seng Index, okay, it's still considered cheap, okay? So my uh, advice to you is that if you can find a very good company from China that listed in Hong Kong, you should, you know, consider buy because, you know, it does not make sense for you to buy when the index went up to 30,000 points. You, you get what I mean or not? Ni, sin zai pu mai nan tao ni yao tan dao san wan tin de so chai mai na. Ni ming bai wa zai xiang no mo. Okay, right. So, 
So, so stock market is very unique. Okay, stock market is very unique. All right. So just you know think about it. All right, because um China market will be the next uh, big market. Okay, after US market, and I also um I think some of you already read some news that uh China begin you know to promote uh renminbi, so that you know other country will accept renminbi. All right, is you know it's interesting. Okay, it's interesting. Let me share this with you. All right, let let me share this with you. Huh? Okay. Now you have to understand is that China, right, and Renminbi. Okay, so if you have Russia, India, Arab, okay, or Brazil, right. So let's say they import and export. Okay, import and export. Okay, import and export. So, if you look at China, they are doing the thing that they are doing now. They are doing this thing. So, if I China, I want to buy this Indo thing, I can buy it. I can buy your Renminbi. Okay? 或者是你可以付对方的钱 ，all right. So when this country have a lot of renminbi, renminbi, renminbi. 哦，比如说中东，呃，阿拉伯沙特，最近也是有签这个合约 ，OK。如果中国跟阿拉伯沙特买油的话，中国是会付他人民币。所以你想看呐、啊，哈、哦，你用脑想看呐、啊，哦，如果、啊、每个国家都有人民币，哈、哦，他们会把这些人民币拿去做什么？除了跟中国买东西，哦，除了跟中国买东西。So you think about it logically. If this country have a lot of 人民币 ，because they accept 人民币 ，all right, okay. So what are they going to do? Okay, when they have a lot of 人民币。Okay, this renminbi will flow into where stock market. Okay, in stock market. All right, why stock market? Okay, because stock market is the most liquidity place for them to park the money. If they think anything wrong with the stock market, they can sell. Okay, they can sell almost immediately, right? Or if they don't buy the stock, they can also buy the China government bond. Okay, it's the same thing like what US are currently doing. Okay, if you have a lot of a US dollar, all right, you will buy the US stock. Okay, and you buy the US bond. So it's the same thing. If you think about yourself, if you think about yourself. Right, so if you have a lot of renminbi, okay, you are not going to keep the renminbi in the saving account, right? Okay, where are you going to, you know, park your money? The answer is stock market. Okay, all right, stock market. Okay, so this some idea, although it may not be reflected in the stock market immediately, right? It may not be reflected in the stock market immediately, but It may happen in the long term basis, all right? Because Hong Kong market is still considered very cheap as compared to a U.S. market, all right? Okay, ma. All right. So next thing, next. Okay, before I end, okay. Ah,、uh, before I move further, okay. So we're talking about this. SDI is already considered overbought, right? And S and P 五百的话也是 considered overbought. Okay, overbought. All right, Hong Kong 的话 stagnant. Okay, 或者是有 pull back 一点点了哈。Overbought 的意思是说，呃、uh, ，what we call that， 呃、uh, ，profit taking may happen. All right, profit taking may happen 啊
So you just be careful like, if you are sh doing short term or mid term. Right? So that's why I say there's nothing wrong for you to take some profit. Okay, there's nothing wrong. All right, maybe 30% of profit or 40% of profit. And then the rest, let's say, for example, you took profit already, but the price continue to go up. That is fine because you are still holding on to 60% of your portfolio because you are not selling all. I'm not asking you to sell all. Okay, I'm just asking you to consider to take some profit. Oh. 所以我的建议是说 但是你没有卖到完吗？哦，你还有手头上还有六十八千的股票，所以你呃就是说继续放住了，让它跑了。Okay，so okay? there's nothing wrong, no wrong to sell some of the stock to take some profit, right? And so this is some uh Singapore share buyback from the individual company just to share with you that um this is the latest one. So Semcot Industry, Capital Reads, OCBC. Singapore Exchange. Okay, so this company keep buying back. So that's why you can see Singapore Exchange keep going up recently. You can now right. All right. So uh OCBC is pretty strong. Okay, same cup industry, no doubt, keep going up. Okay. So uh buying share is a good news for the company. It's a good news for the shareholder as well. It shows that the company have a lot of cash. It shows that the company have cash. Right, and it shows that the company is confident, so that's why they buy back their own company. La. But okay, disclaimer, right? It may not be hundred percent correct. La. Nothing is hundred percent. You get what I mean? So I will show you the uh so I will show you this data, they have their own company buy their own stock. But uh mention the meaning is that it's not hundred percent this stock will fall. Understand? So that's why I say. 如果你能学自己参考股票的话，是最好的。所以你可以自己做决定，哦，自己做的决定是最好的。Alright，所以如果你能自己做决定，意思是说你的技巧、技能已经达到一个水准，所以你可以自己选股，可以自己买股，可以
what we call that is consider a healthy pullback, right? So we'll see how uh, how much they are going to pull back, right? Uh, before you can buy in again, okay? Before you can buy in again, um, I think still have potential, all right? So where is the support level? Is there any support level? I think somewhere around here. Just my prediction now. Maybe the support is around nine ninety six cent. So we see how, all right? Before they pull back and continue to go up, all right? So I did talk about this stock last two week. 你们还记得吗？这个 last two week 上两个星期我谈到这个股票，那个股票还是在差不多是在九毛的时候。哦，你们有买吗？有买的话就放 yes 可以吗？放 yes right 放 yes OK 给我知道一下。And then follow by Capital DC Capital DC 的话也是有讲到这个公司。So Capital DC look um look pretty nice okay look like cup and handle all right look like cup and handle okay so you can see that um although previously you see although previously there was a double top okay then the price pulled back a little bit now the buyer are coming in and then the price near the resistance 2.09 so if they can break through okay if they can break through then the price may continue right so the price may continue okay right so if they can break through the price may continue to go up further so i think still got a lot of potential all right so the way that we do thing right we want to buy when the stock price begin to break through begin to move a lot of people ask me what is price action the price action has been that we will take action when we notice the price just begin to move okay just begin to move we don't want to buy when the price are selling down can you see that just begin to move is somewhere around here Pry actions. So the intention of the pry actions, the intention for us to use pry action is because we don't want our money to be stuck in the stock market. You get what I mean? So there are many strategy out there in the stock market. Some would prefer to buy based on the value investing strategy, right? They wait for the undervalue to buy. Nothing wrong with that, okay? But for me, my money is limited, your money also limited. Oh, in way woman a chen yo sien uh look on my is a ku lang face meta, tesla, nvidia, to sang liao chabu do percent so that's why I personally prefer price actions because the strategy tell me when to buy, okay? Not when to hold, okay? When to buy, okay? So I buy when the stock begin to move, all right? And followed by Semco Industry. Okay, so Semco Industry is the best stock in Singapore. Okay, it's the best stock in the Singapore. All right, it's the best stock in the Singapore. So we can see that the price is over already overbought, but long-term uptrend still intact. So what do you think what you can buy it, you take profit. Okay, can you take profit? Can okay, you take some profit? If you have attended my course, all right, I think you know that why I like uptrend stock because people are buying and these people are not normal people. Okay, you know what I mean. Huh? I did explain in the class. Okay. So these people is not normal people and how I know this not normal people. 
So all these will be reviewed in the workshop. Lah, okay, so if you want to know, you can attend the workshop. All right. So now expensive, all right, overboard. My suggestion to you is to take some profit. Okay, take some profit before they pull back. Okay, if they continue to go up, that's fine. Okay, um, because you're not selling everything. Okay, you still keep some, right? But what I mean is that anything can happen if they pull back. Luckily, you sell some, right? So always take some actions. Uh, so that's why we call it pride action. And Junting, okay, 也是恭喜你们, oh, 每一次都讲这个股票, right? So, 去年讲到现在, oh, 其实我也是跟大家分享为什么庄家还没有跑其实你看图表的话其实你会看得出为什么呢你不要去看news 其实你, okay? so my suggestion to you is that always look at the chart because the chart show you the real data okay? show you the real data and if you look at the candlestick all right, the market maker, the fund house are keep buying Okay, they buy slowly previously. They just don't want you to notice, right? But okay, I notice it, then I share with you. All right. Then if you buy, okay, congratulations. So my okay, yes is So if you bought this stock and you make money, please type yes, okay, in the chat room so that uh, I can know you make money, and then at least I know that I give the value to you. I add value to you, and that's you know, will help me um, more uh, active to share with you um, in the webinar, all right? So you need to know, so, oh, because if I this webinar, it actually is helping you. Oh, student, sometimes student, you can see that they are taking the course, they will ask how to support you. I will through this platform to support you. This this platform is every week I'm doing. So how I support my student? Okay, I support them through this webinar every week. All right, so that is my commitment. Uh, so you can see that. Okay, if I can help them, uh, then I can continue to do it. Okay, if I cannot help them, there's no point for me to do it every week. All right, so so you can see. I hope you can see. Um, you know, uh, what I have been doing that can benefit you and your uh, you know, your friend who have uh, attended this uh workshop and class as well. So since I don't want to consider overbought, it's a person man guia. So that's why I say, all right, when you see the price went up like this, uh, it's considered overbought or super overbought, I would say. Because some of you may ask me, hey Caleb, um previously also considered overbought. All right, now it's super overbought. Okay, super overbought, that means uh, the correction may, uh, the pullback, uh, I would say, a healthy pullback may occur anytime soon. Huh? So you might want to consider to take some profit before uh, the price is really go down. Uh, huh? We don't know. Okay, if the price can continue to go up, it's good. But if they pull back, also good for you because you already sold some. Okay, ma? Huh? So, thank uh, you. So next thing Alright, so we'll see how will they reach one dollar and twenty one cent? Look like they may reach one dollar twenty one cent, but it may take some time. Maybe they pull back first before they rebound. Okay, pull back first before they rebound. Okay, ma. So, thank you, man. You have got money, man. Oh, thank you, man. Right. And followed by Da Ren Tang. Da Ren Tang, the hua, also, bao zhang. Oh. So, thank you, man. You have got money, the hua. Please type yes. 再来多一次 Type yes. Okay, 好不好？因为之前讲的时候，它差不多是在呃一块一毛半的左右，然后讲的时候差不多是在一块一毛半左右 ，right？ 所以它继续的涨 ，OK， 继续的涨，到呃这个星期差不多啊，这个星期你可以看到连续三天的涨，所以连续三天的涨的话，已经 consider super overbought， 超级超买，超级超买。超级超买的意思是说，哈，这个股票随随时都会，呃，套利，随时都会被套利啊，就是说套利的状况，哈，就是有可能，呃，会发生。
。所以如果你有买新的话，啊，恭喜你，也是恭喜你哦，也是要，就是说要出出一点呐、啊，哦，不要太贪心，可以吗？出一点，然后去。呃，买一些东西，因为你在股市有赚钱的话，你一定就是要奖赏自己一下哈。So if you make some money from the stock market, take some profit, alright? Go and buy things that you like. You can buy watch, okay? Buy anything you want, alright? To reward yourself, okay, ma? Alright. So this is a rare opportunity, okay? Alright. And food and buyer, okay? So food empire also consider overbought. So a lot of stock that I mentioned now already went up a lot, okay? And then it's considered overbought as well. I'm not sure will they continue to go up, okay? Look like it may, okay? It may continue to go up because the support is near here, $1. So if the price didn't drop, that means uh, the buyer are still have the interest in this stock, all right? So they may push up push up further before the price pull back, right? But like what I mentioned, don't be too greedy, right? Always take some profit progressively because you do not know what will happening next because once the, you know, once the big buyer are selling, then the price may crash down, okay? So right now they are not selling yet, okay? Why not you take some profit first, okay? Ma? So you have to pay in this stock, you have to pay for the stock, you have to pay for Hi, yes. Oh, wow. All right. And lastly, Delphi. Okay. Okay, Delphi the what hoi pitch of weak idiot. Okay, Nikkei can now tas sang la goho, you hui lai. Sang la goho, you hui lai. It ling chu. So Nikkei can now tana candlestick hoi pitch of uh, weak idiot. So we can see that Delphi, right, the stock is a little bit weak as compared to Food Empire, Taran Tang, and Genting, right? So you can see the seller uh, trying to sell the price lower, right? So you have to be careful this stock, okay? So um, I think if you look at the today candlestick, maybe the, the selling is not end yet. They may push down the price further, okay? So we'll see how. Okay, all right, but overall the stock is still uptrend. Okay, so previously they pull back and then they rebound. So maybe they pull back a little bit, maybe rebound later. So you see how first. Okay, all right. So these are the Singapore stock. Okay, so these are Singapore stock. Okay, so congratulations, T, Eunice. Okay, all right. Uh, KL. Okay, thank you. Okay, <laughs> Lawrence, thank you. So, uh, Li Li Tiang, okay, thank you. Eunice, thank you. Okay, Johnny, thank you. All right. So, CY, thank you. So, you guys' encouragement, oh, actually, is a strength. Oh, so you guys' encouragement is a strength. Oh, you guys have money. Oh, so, although I'm saying, ah, not every time you can earn money. Oh, you guys still have to be careful. Oh, because I'm a regular person. I'm always making mistakes. So, if I'm wrong, I have to be disciplined. Oh. 因为股市是呃，就是说很奇妙的地方哦，很奇妙的地方。有时候你可以赚钱，有时候你也是可以亏钱。最重要是亏的少，赚的多，明白吗？所以要赚的多的话，就是要找这一类型的股票才可以赚钱。So if you want to make money, okay, you have to find this type of stock, which I, you know, share with my student how to choose the right stock. Okay, because uh, nothing is one hundred percent. Okay, if the market turn against us, we have to be quick to take a decision or to take action to sell away the stock so that we can keep our capital for the next opportunity. All right, always remember the capital is very important. Okay, the capital is our hard earned money, so that we want to find the right way to invest safely. Okay, to minimize the losses. And to mean maximize the profit, all right. So you can see that the way that I do is not consider you know aggressive. It's consider with a proper systematic way of doing thing, with a proper trade plan, so that you can know okay comfortably all right how you can buy and what you can buy, all right. So next thing okay we see all right. So this is a U.S. stock okay U.S. stock um again. 
is considered overbought. Many of the good company already consider overbought. So that's why my suggestion to you is that you have to be careful now. Okay, because when everyone is happy, all right, you have to be careful. Okay, why I know? Because there are many people that I know, they are very happy in the stock market now. So when there are many when there are many people happy, then you have to be very careful. All right, be careful means that you have to take some profit off. Okay, all right, and then always be you know remember to set the stop loss. Okay, just in case if the market turned against you. All right, and Hong Kong market. Okay, Hong Kong market recently a bit stagnant as well. All right, so we can see that Hong Kong market is also. 在走横盘 ，OK， 它也是没有再涨。自从十一月份涨到一月份，它就开始回调。所、so, 以到目前为止的话，它还是属于呃休息的阶段。So that's why it actually give us a opportunity to buy a good company like Tencent, Alibaba, a、uh, BYD. All right. So we take a look some of these stocks. We take a look some of these stocks like Tencent. Okay. So Tencent is a, yeah, is a good company, all right. But how are you going to how are you going to buy and when are you going to buy? That is the question mark. Okay, 很多人知道这个是好股，可是你在哪里买进？你要在哪里买进的话，这些东西我都是会教了，在呃、uh, workshop 里面 ，all right. So you can see that um they went up a lot recently. Then after that they pull back. Okay, they pull back. All right. So, uh, we'll see how, okay. And then before, is there any uh stations, um, then uh we'll take necessary actions. So we take Alibaba. We see Alibaba. Jiu Jiu Papa, Jiu Jiu Papa. All right, Jiu Jiu Papa. Okay. So Jiu Jiu Papa. Actually, you can um, this Alibaba 的话，其实阿里巴巴的股票跟这个 Tencent 比起来的话，哈。其实这个 Tencent 的话比较强一点 ，Tencent 会是比较强一点 ，All right， so Tencent 是会比较强一点，所、so, 以你可以看到阿里巴巴跌，其实跌蛮多的 ，OK， so you do the measurements， Alibaba actually drop around thirty three percent， All right， drop around thirty three percent， and then when they went up， OK， they also went up very quickly， All right， but they pull back again recently， so it's a bit volatile。Okay, it's a bit volatile. So if you ask me, okay, I prefer ten cent lah. Okay, I prefer ten cent. All right, I prefer ten cent. So if you choose 到好股的话 ，then 你就专注一只也是可以哦。如果你太多只的话，你不能专注 ，all right? Because if there are too many stock, then you cannot uh focus. So you focus one stock will do, all right? So we can see previously how much they drop. They only drop twenty one percent. Okay, previously they dropped only one twenty one percent. As compared to Alibaba, they dropped thirty three percent. So you know when you do the measurement, you know that oh, Tencent actually dropped less as compared to Alibaba, right? So at least you know what stock to choose, ah. You mean by lah, clear mah, right? So these are the what we call that ah, ah Hong Kong stock. Okay, what about your stock? 所以你们的股票是哪一些股票？给我知道一下。你可以放在这个 Q and A. KL on what kind of uh support ah? What kind of support is like uh normal Pokemon account or normal Pokemon account? 然后然后我们有那个 Telegram support. Okay, it's a normal uh what we call that uh Pokemon trading account, which most of you have. But of course the team is different lah. Okay, we provide uh Telegram support that kind of thing. Okay, and in fact ah the webinar that I show you right now ah although it's free ah but it's a very value add uh webinar. You you get what I mean, and I need to remind you lah because for some people or、oh, this is free, okay? But free, okay? Does it value? Okay? Does it value or not? Alright. So why REITs underperform even though they are hold many asset? Um, it's probably because um, other tech stock is so cheap. Maybe some of the investor, uh, probably they are looking for other asset. Okay, which is very cheap and more attractive. So they buy other asset first rather than the the safe asset. You get what I mean? Because everyone is a、uh, different. Okay, objective is different. 
All right, city debt. Okay, we'll see the city debt. So how is city debt? Okay, uh, basically city debt is very volatile. Okay, you can see. So basically, it is the support. Okay, you can see that the support level is $7.30. Okay, $7.30, right? And um, the high price was somewhere around $8.34 or $8.30. So if you want to buy, actually now you can buy, okay? But always set stop loss, lah. okay? We do not know if they go down further, okay? We do not know if they go down further, right? But you must know when to sell, okay? You must know when to sell because $8.30 is very obvious resistant. Every time when they hit $8.30, is a profit taking, okay? When they hit $7.30, it's an entry point. All right, so you can see the pattern already show you, okay, it already show you that um, the price begin to already move in the sideway, okay, the price already show you that it actually move in the sideway, okay, so that's why you need to know uh, what strategy that you want to use, okay, so you just need to remember these two things, okay, and ISDN. Right. So before, uh, okay, I need to apologize to everyone. Okay, uh, there are many stocks um, that some of you want me to analyze. Uh, but uh, but like what I mentioned, uh, because time is, there is a limited, limited time. Okay, if I cannot analyze your stock, I apologize to you first. Uh, okay. So I will randomly choose the stock. Uh, huh? I will randomly choose the stock. All right, let me see ISDN. How do you think about ISDN? ISDN actually a long time never see this stock already. Okay, here the support level. All right, but the price already went up. The price already went up a little bit around 8.5%. Quite a lot, 8.5%. So will they pull back? Will they pull back? Can we pull back? Man? Cent. So the support level, if they can pull back 48 cent, I think if you want to buy at 48 cent, I think should be okay. But remember, always set stop loss. Lah. Oh? Always set stop loss because nothing is 100%. Right? And previously was was nice one okay previously they went up strongly then after that they pull back okay after that they pull back all right so now the buyer are coming in okay so the buyer are coming in try to push up the price further so we'll see how from now okay we'll see how okay all right and q and a chicken so what else uh, at least. So we will see Samudera shipping. Okay. So how do you think about Samudera shipping? So what do you think about Samudera shipping? All right. What do you think about Samudera shipping? Are they can they still move? Okay. Are they can they can they still move or not? Can they still move? All right. So this is the what we call that a strong support at one dollar twenty cent. A strong support at one dollar twenty cent. All right. So there is a support level hitting the fifty day moving average. All right. Um, I think is a there is a setup lah, okay consider a setup but look like the candlestick is not that nice okay the candlestick can you see the candlestick okay it's not a consider a bullish candlestick right so it's not considered a bullish candlestick usually i a bit reluctant lah, oh? but there is a setup lah, okay so there is a setup so we'll see how okay but long term is still uptrend okay which is quite 
strong stock but very volatile okay strong but volatile okay so yeah this is samudera and what else oil seem to be playing now can we have a look rex okay Red International. All right. So suddenly spiked up because of the crude oil also suddenly spiked up. <laughs> okay. So that's why the Red International also follow. All right. Let me see. Um, basically, obviously the price is still downtrend. So you they can't know what she's a Red International is a Suizang Chi Sula. 所以下降趋势的话是有点危险的。Okay,有点危险的。意思是说,如果它反弹的话,有可能是短暂性。所以现在的话,其实是属于超卖。Sorry,超卖。So okay? now it's considered overbought as well. Right, it's considered overbought. So you still need to uh, observe. La. I'm not sure will they go, how they go. Because it's downtrend. Right, it's considered downtrend. So the rebound may consider a short term one because once they hit the resistance, they may pull back again. All right. So this uh, rebound may be a short term one. So it's got one chan sing the fan tan chisu Okay, so you must know when to sell, all right? What is the relationship between tech stock and inflation? Yeah, inflation high, that means interest rate high, okay? So inflation is, um, interest rate is, sens I mean, tech stock is actually sensitive to the uh, interest rate, lah. okay? So if the interest rate is stagnant or reduced, then the tech stock may be benefit, all right? What about Bitcoin like Coinbase and PayPal? All right. Coinbase, you have to be very careful. All right. Coinbase, you have to be very careful. Okay. Because Coinbase is uh, very volatile. Okay. Coinbase is very volatile. So, this is volatile. All right. So, you have to be very careful. You have to be very careful. So, it's very obvious the double bottom. Can you see the double bottom? Double bottom, so that's why the price, you know, uh, crash down, okay? Crash down and gap down. So, you have to go, you have to go, you have to go, right? And, and Coinbase, right? Um, Bitcoin, actually, in US government, okay? The Congress, uh, they actually don't like Bitcoin. So, when the regulator, they don't like Bitcoin, uh, then the the Bitcoin related stock will be very volatile. Lah. So if you want to play, uh, you have to be very careful, okay, for the Bitcoin stock. Okay, you have to be very careful for Bitcoin stock. All right. All right. So, but when they go up, they go up strongly. So you can count down when they go up, they go up strongly. Huh? So you have to be careful. Okay, you have to be careful. All right. Um, like what I mentioned, the tech stock already overbought. Nah. So you wait for the pullback. Nah. You wait for the pullback. Can? All right. Always wait for the pullback. They always give you opportunity one. Nah. They always give you opportunity. So you wait for the pullback. Okay. Ma. And venture. Venture. We see venture. Okay, venture actually consider tech stock in Singapore. So you can see that when the US market tech stock begin to rebound, the venture also rebound, right? So now you can see every stock, right? Almost every stock that I show you and the stock that you show me, right? Most of the stock already overbought or already went up. Do you realize that? Do you realize that the stock already went up? Already went up. We can't down, ma already went up so you have to be careful lah. so you be have to be careful 
right then uh profit taking may happen anytime soon profit taking may happen anytime soon all right okay ma so uh venture so wait for the pullback okay wait for the pullback and if you have bought okay profit taking okay profit taking okay ma profit taking profit taking q and a session capital cop so mengkan capital cop okay ma capital cop Capper Cop, Capper Cop, okay. So Capper Cop, um, Capper Cop already went up, okay, because of the crude oil lah, spied up. So Capper Cop actually follow the crude oil, um, the price spied up, okay. Now you can see that the candlestick also, uh, you know, a pullback a little bit. That means profit taking has been occurring lah for this stock. Profit taking has been occurring for this stock right so yeah if you want to for long term i think should not be a problem long term still consider uptrend all right long term is still consider uptrend but for short term okay profit taking for short term is profit taking all right so obviously the support level is at this one Five dollar and around fifty five cent. Five dollar around fifty five cent. Ah, uh, five dollar fifty five cent is a support level. Is a support level. Okay, it's a support level. All right. Hong Kong stock. Um, may I already talk about Hong Kong stock, ma? The ten cent. Okay, ten cent. Alibaba. They are still actually still got potential. Okay, still got potential. All right. Silver, okay. Yeah, there are some people talk about silver. I think you can consider, right? But silver, you need to hold for long term. Not like, you know, it's not like for you to trade. Lah, okay, silver is not that popular. All right, but there are people buying now. Okay, but I don't recommend. Lah. If you can make money from the stock market, why you need to buy silver, right? Because stock market now have a lot of opportunity. All right so why you buy why you want to buy uh, uh silver you get what i mean so aapl okay aapl all right so aapl reaching the resistance as well okay so it's very obvious um the us tech stock actually hit the resistance okay already hit the resistance a lot Okay, already hit the resistance a lot. All right. So you can see this one. So this one, the one, is in the resistance now. Okay, already hit the resistance. All right. So it's, it's nice to take some profit if you want to. Okay, it's nice to take some profit if you want to. All right. Because if you do, if you see my drawing, right? Okay, I mentioned. During that time, for you to buy is one hundred and thirty dollar. Okay, one hundred and thirty dollar. So if you manage to buy right, you make around twenty eight percent. So I think good enough lah. Okay, if you want to take profit, twenty eight dollar is good enough. Okay, good enough to take some profit. All right, okay ma. Uh, we take a look AMD. All right, AMD. AMD, how is it AMD? Actually, AMD is quite strong. Okay, AMD is quite strong because the price didn't really drop much also. It's quite strong. Maybe the way that they move, they may go to sideways, right, before they rebound. Okay, before they rebound. So it's quite an interesting stock and has a great, a lot of potential. Right, still have a lot of potential. Although they went up uh almost hundred percent, I think still have potential. All right. So you see the way they move. This time they didn't choose to go down, but they stay sideways. Okay, they move sideways before they are pushing up the price further. Lah. Okay. So can continue to watch this type of the stock. All right. IFAS. 
OK， 我们先看 i f a s i f a s 我很久没有看了，嗯、um, ，是 quite some time I didn't watch the stocks。OK， right， so um yeah， they managed to rebound. You can see my drawing. All right， so it's quite obvious that if you have the knowledge, you know when to buy. OK， um that time during that time the price was somewhere around four dollar sixty cent. Four dollar sixty cent. And if you see my drawing, right, then if you manage to buy now 10%, okay, 10% you go, uh, take profit because, yeah, overbought and also hitting the resistance as well. Overbought and hitting the resistance unless the price can uh, break through, uh, unless the price can break through, but look like they may pull back first before they break through. Maybe they pull back First, before they break through. Oh, so you have to do this. Yeah, you have to do this. Yeah, All right. Microsoft MSFP MSFP. Yeah, most of the tech stock already overbought. Yeah. So that's why this this webinar is good. Lah. Okay, bottom, I will tell you to buy. Okay expensive i will ask you to sell okay i hope you listen okay all right so if she's near the resistance all right so it's time for you to take some profit as well okay ma so i will randomly choose okay maybe i saw yeah st engineering st engineering st engineering ST Engineering. ST Engineering is a sang Yamanto. So they went up quite a lot as well. All right. So look like the candlestick is quite bullish today. Maybe they may hit the $3.77 resistance. They may hit $3.77 resistance. All right. So it's quite uh yeah, it's quite volatile as well. Okay, quite volatile. <laughs> okay, previously they went down a lot. So you still remember when they went down, went down a lot and then hit the resistance, right? Uh, hit the support level around $3. That was the time for you to buy. La. But how many of you buy? I think many people don't want to buy. They don't want to buy. Right? But that is when the time for you to buy. When they hit around somewhere around $3. Or three dollar and ten cent. Okay, okay, ma. Right. So that's all for the uh, pride. Uh, what we call that stock analysis. Let me go back to the slide. I hope you can stay until the end, or you can invite your friend, right, whom they whom you think they may benefit from this. Uh, what we call that workshop. Okay. So like what I mentioned. Okay, most of the. Retail investor problem is that they always read the news, okay? Toxic news. So my suggestion to you is that please don't read the news, okay? Don't see the news, okay? Don't see the news, okay? All right, so focus on the solution called prior actions, okay? Prior actions. Why prior action? Because we want to buy when the price begin to move, then we buy. So that's why we take action. Okay, so that's why we take action. So you see, price pull back. So we buy here before they go up. But then you need to have knowledge lah, or you need to have uh, experience. So look on this yang yao, uh, just to say, um, uh, just to say, uh, if you want to improve, Okay, so today this lesson, okay, I believe so, it will definitely help you to achieve your dream. Okay, so that's why prior action is the solution for the problem that you are currently have because we are able to, you know, spot the pattern on the chart, on the chart. Okay, so that we can identify the chart pattern in the earlier stage, so that it will allow us to. What we call that make a right decision whether to buy or whether to sell, and it is more effective by looking at the chart like what I explained to you because they show us the real data. Okay, you always show us the real data. Okay, so what is price actions? Okay, some some of you still don't understand what is price action. So let me.